It's not enough to watch the anemia lecture only to know everything about the anemia and the red blood cells defect. You must watch this lecture of the hemoglobinopathies to know everything about the other structural variants of the hemoglobin. So in our today's lecture of the hemoglobinopathies, we are going to cover the different structural variants of the hemoglobin other than the thalassemia. So uh, let's see that what we will talk about in our today's lecture. We will first go through uh, the question, what is the hemoglobinopathies? Uh, we will discuss the general sign and symptoms of the hemoglobinopathy. Then uh, we will talk about the different types of the hemoglobinopathies, the different structural variants of the hemoglobinopathy that are important and that we will cover in our today's lecture. Moving on, we will start with the sickle cell disease. We will talk about the progression of the disease, how uh, it defect in single gene, the homozygous defect will lead to the thrombosis, the production of the sickle cell as well. And we'll discuss that how the production of this uh, thrombosis will then cause the aplastic crisis and also it will cause the sequestration crisis how it can lead to the different uh, organ uh, failures and what are the clinical features that it will cause. Then we will move on toward the pathology of a sickle cell disease that how it, you can differentiate the sickle cell disease from other, uh, the red, other red blood cells defects. Then we will talk about the sickle cell trait, that what is the difference between the sickle cell trait and the sickle cell disease. Then we will also talk about the double heterozygosity for the H hemoglobin S. We will talk about the difference between the homozygous, heterozygous and also the double heterozygous conditions of the sickle cell disease. Which, which one is more severe, what are the symptoms that will occur and what is the severity of all of these three types of the diseases. Then we will talk about the hemoglobin C disease. We will see how it progress, what is its pathogenesis and how it appears in a histological slides. We will also discuss about the different features of the hemoglobin E disease. We will discuss its pathological uh, characteristics, its clinical features and how it is related to the thalassemia. As we say, it is a thalassemia-like disease. Then we will discuss about the other hemoglobinopathies as it is said that there are the hundreds of other structural variants of these hemoglobinopathies. So we will, uh, we will discuss all of them in the two categories, the unstable hemoglobin and the abnormal oxygen affinity. With that, we will end our today's lecture. If you want to uh, watch the other lectures, the lectures on other topics, maybe uh, the lectures on the pathology topics or you are searching for the different other subjects like the clinical subjects, medicine, the surgery topics, then you must have to vis visit the website scardia.com. There you can find uh, thousands of lectures with variety of educators. So go to the scardia.com and subscribe to watch the complete lecture.